The review and approval process is often an essential part of the journey for many documents shared within organizations. In a previous video, we covered how you can get entire pages reviewed and approved in Confluence. Whereas in this video, we're going to cover how you can get specific sections of content approved by the right people in your organization. This feature might be particularly useful if you have different subject matter experts or require specific team members to review certain parts of a document before it can be finalized and shared with the wider organization. And this is made easy with the section approval macro built into approvals of Confluence. So with that being said, let's jump in. So in this example, we'll navigate to one of the pages that has different sections that needs approval from different reviewers in the organization. So we'll go to the pension plan page here and the upcoming changes section, I need to be approved by two people in the organization. I just need them to focus on this specific part of the document. Now a page approval won't cut it because that's the entire document versus a specific section. So what you can do with approvals is add a macro into the page and this will focus the approver's attention on a specific part of the page. So I'll start by editing the page, find the section where I want to add the approval macro and here just type in approval and here you've got the section approval macro. Now, much like page approvals, you'll get the configuration screen here and there are a few options. So first off, you can give your approval a title to differentiate it within the page. Next up, I can choose my approvers. And on the right hand side, we have a few additional options. So first we have expire on edit which will expire the approval if anyone makes an edit to the page. Next up, you have notify approvers. So here you can enable this to then notify the approvers when a section approval is pending for their review. Finally, you can prevent comments from being added within a section approval. Now, as you'll notice, this option is off by default, but if you wish, you can prevent from the approvers from making comments. And finally, prevent decision changes. So once your approvers have made their decision, if you wish to prevent them from changing that, so they may have rejected a document and want to then approve it by activating this, you will prevent the approvers from choosing another decision. So for this approval, I'll keep it nice and easy. I'll just go with the options that are here now, click confirm, and this adds the macro to the page. The final step is just to publish. Here you can see the approval macro is on the page. It's very clear that Emma and Jennifer have this section of the document waiting for their review. And once they select whether they approve or reject the document, this will update, it will show the real time approval status, and it will also give you a date that that approval decision had been made. And there we have it. That's a quick run through of the section approval macro feature. If you're new to approvals and considering trying it out, you can get a free 30 day trial on the Atlassian marketplace by following the link in the video description below. And just remember, we're here to help you get the most out of approvals. So if you want to learn more about any of the features in the product, be sure to check out our user guides by following the link that's displayed on the screen now. Or if you have any questions, just send an email to support at appfox.io and one of our customer support team will be happy to help.